to welcome everybody to this workshop, uh, regulations that have been proposed by uh, our planning department. So I'd like to start off by uh, just introducing the members of the commission that are here and some of the town staff, Jamie Hine, the uh, alternate on the commission. Next to Jamie is uh, Jim Fitzsimmons, commission uh, member. Next to uh, him is Steve Allison, also a member of the commission. In the back row is uh, J.P. Point, commission member, and Jeff Cohan. Uh, we have Kevin uh, Beghini, uh, who is our town planner. Allison Kapuscinski, who is uh, our uh, town engineer. The purpose of this meeting uh, is to discuss some regulation change uh, that are being proposed. I'm sure most people know that uh, we, uh, we're reviewing our uh, regulations for the I-5, the IF zone, the watershed, uh, back at the end of last year, the early part of this year. Uh, there was a, a request from uh, the mayor, our corporate council, as well as uh, our water and sewer division, and I think the EDC also, that we defer taking action on those, uh, those regulations because they had some various concerns on it. That resulted in uh, quite a bit of work being done by you know various town staff. Uh, we had our corporate council being involved. We had uh, Mr. Amway from uh, the Water and Sewer Division, Tim Ryan from the Economic Development Commission, Rob Baltramitis, who was the director of uh, Public Works, Aaron O'Hara, who is our uh, environmental planner, and uh, Vanessa Batista, who is also our chief sanitarian. So all of those individuals, as well as uh, our planning department and our engineering department. So our goals and objectives tonight are just to bring the town staff, planning and zoning commissioners, uh, and the public together in a forum to discuss and brainstorm improvements to the proposed zoning regulations. Uh, constructive feedback and questions are welcomed. Uh, comments should be focused on the proposal at hand. And just in case any of you are here for data centers in particular, the public hearing on the data center text amendment is scheduled for October 13th at 7 p.m. The overview of changes, we're technically eliminating the boundaries of the I-5 district, uh, and we've created town stormwater management regulations for the entire town. Uh, and they include uh, watershed protection overlay district, uh, which includes previously proposed and existing language that currently exists right now. Um, and the creation of a new watershed interchange district, which will be composed of most of the parcels located within uh, parcels in the IX and the I-5, which are located in the watershed. Uh, and so basically the proposal of this district is to allow uses that limit adverse impact to downstream waters, including Mackenzie Reservoir, um, and stricter regulation of the watershed protection overlay district so this will be achieved through creation of the watershed interchange district through the stormwater management regulations and the extra layer of the watershed protection over the district. Uh, and we've also included additional expanded definitions in the stormwater management section as well as in section 2.2. So at the, as Jim stated, at the request of the mayor, the following town staff has been involved uh, throughout a series of meetings. Uh, they've been very collaborative in nature. Uh, they've been uh, it's a couple times a week, several hours, just meeting, discussing uh, what they like, what they didn't like, making changes uh, based off recommendations. Well, this is the existing uh, zoning map. As you can see here, you have the IX, the I-5. Those, those boundaries are in black. Watershed protection, overlay. This is the existing stuff. Oh, this is still the existing. Just to highlight the I-5 and the IX portion. Yeah. So what we're proposing is the Watershed Interchange District composed of everything that's in blue. Uh, and this is the, this is still the overlay line here for the watershed. Um, and we're looking at, and the IX uh, is in purple. These parcels are zone I-5 to zone IX. These are zone I-5 to the new zone watershed interchange. And then these are the existing IX parcels, which are the uh, proposed to change to the watershed interchange district. For the current IX district, this is the non-watershed IX district. Uh, we just wanted to add in uh, more specific uses, uh, more modern uses. Uh, we're thinking about uh, to allow for you know, more development in this area outside of the watershed to reduce the open space requirement uh, to 40% and building coverage increased by 5%. Right now it's at 25%, we're looking at possibly going to 30%. Um, 
and any parcel in this district that has a portion of the watershed on the parcel. So there are some <coughs> old parcels up in uh, this area here that there's some portion of the back uh, portion of the parcel on there. So anything in that would have to go through a special permit process to assess if any of the impacts uh, could be in the public drinking water supply if they were to develop near the line of where the watershed is. Uh, this would also allow data centers with a special permit and specific restrictions such as sound and impact vibration analysis. And this proposed language is for all future data center development. Uh, this proposed language is more for any, any like say freestanding smaller type data centers, not necessarily the GOT space proposal, although it would apply to that. Um, that specific proposal is subject to these zoning regulation requirements, the proposed ones, and they have to comply with everything in that town council approved municipal host agreement. And parcel sorting and retail distribution facilities uh, will be permitted by special permit in the IX district. <laughs> so watershed interchange district, uh, this is uh, to utilize land with accessibility to 91 while protecting public drinking water and allowing for emerging low intensity uses. Uh, it imposes parking and loading maximums, so you can only go with say 120% uh, of the minimum parking requirement for a parking maximum. It limits uses that require large parking areas. Uh, encourages natural open space instead of landscape open space. Uh, and also allows data centers with a special permit. And again, uh, the GOT space uh, proposal is subject to the host agreement. Uh, stormwater management. So this is a new section. Uh, this gives us regulatory teeth to what the town generally requires, as well as stricter uh, stormwater management uh, and watershed protection. Uh, this would include all zones in the town, as well as the watershed protection overlay district. Uh, provides a framework to applicants for what the town expects in a stormwater management plan. Uh, requires an operation and maintenance plan of the stormwater system to be filed on the land records. And it also includes its own definition section. Uh, the Watershed Protection Overlay District, uh, we work with water and sewer on the language on this to ensure that uh, it was a stricter regulation. Um, so an overlay district gives extra, essentially, layers of protection to the underlying district uh, that it goes over. So as you can see, there's a Watershed Protection Overlay District is here as well as these areas of the town. Uh, this includes above and beyond stormwater quality design requirements as required by the Water and Sewer Division. Uh, includes stormwater management landscaping design for parking areas uh, such as curbless islands uh, to increase uh, stormwater infiltration. Uh, it encourages natural open space instead of landscaped open space and prohibits use of sodium chloride for ice control within parking areas with more than 10 parking spaces. We also looked at some changes to the off-street parking and loading. Uh, we looked at a lot of the existing parking areas and we, we feel like a lot of these uh, uses as they are right now are being overparked, and there's a lot of empty parking lots. Uh, so we looked at new uh, parking generation manuals and we just adjusted them and added to the parking table. Uh, some parking minimums were lowered based upon current standards. Uh, none were increased. Uh, certain uses that once required more spaces now require less parking, such as manufacturing and research and development and this will cut down on unnecessarily large parking areas. Specific terms, we added new definitions for all terms and uses that were added. Uh, provides clarity for specific uses. And uh, so parcel hub and retail distribution center, which was the big Amazon project, will now be defined as a use separate from warehousing. And we updated the definition for open space as well. I have a question. Yeah. Explain to me what a watershed is. What is a watershed? A watershed is an area of land where water naturally drains to one point. Rainfall, snow melt, and other precipitation fall on the land and flows downstream in lakes, rivers, or streams. Watersheds can be large or small. The largest watersheds in the United States cover many states and drain into oceans. In fact, your backyard and home are in a watershed. Watershed boundaries are natural and constructed features that direct where water flows. 
And I think just something to keep in mind is when we were looking at this task of trying to balance the protection of water quality as well as permitted uses in certain zones in this area that could be, you know, really helpful to be so close to I-91. Something we, you know, previously mm -hmm. it was looking at modifying the existing IX zone with the same boundaries and the existing I-5 zone with the same boundaries. But that ended up when you restricted uses in, uh, say, the IX in order to protect the water quality, that ended up affecting all of this other land that really wasn't draining to the Mackenzie Reservoir, wasn't part of the uh, watershed protection overlay district. So in order to not create a burden on those other parcels, we wanted to separate these zones out, which is why we created this new watershed interchange district. So mm -hmm. I hope that kind of frames, I know it's like kind of, a, it's a big change, but it's really the best way that we could properly define uses and make sure that we're not unfairly restricting properties that aren't draining to the Mackenzie Reservoir. Mm -hmm.